Hey, what's good? It's day one, and you're watching AE Dollars. What up, Cash Fam? My name is Matthew Craig, and you're watching AU Dollars, Australia's Hip Hop Connect. Make sure you're liking and subscribing to our channel and letting us know in the comments what you think about this chat because my guest today is an absolute star on the rise. You only need to look at the US Billboard charts or the Spotify Global charts to know that Australian melodic hip hop is taking over the globe right now. And my guest today, he's part of that wave, only 20 years of age, already had a single certified platinum by Aria, racked up 50 million online streams, around 15 million YouTube views. And and has collaborated with the likes of A Boogie Wood a Hoodie all at a young age. He's a proud Polynesian artist coming out of the BNE, B-O-S-S Tings, day one. Welcome to AU Dollars Australia's Hip Hop Connect. How you doing, bro? Hey, what's going on, bro? Doing good. Glad to be here. Good to have you, G. Good to have you. Yo, congrats. Day you know, first project out. How does it feel, man? Bro, crazy, bro. Like, I feel like, yeah, lots led up to this sort of moment, you know. Would have done it earlier too, but because of COVID. But yeah, no, it feels crazy. It feels good. Man. And how's the reception been? A lot of DMs, a lot of messages, I imagine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of a lot of DMs, like, people really, like, mess with it because, you know, kind of opened myself up and they kind of, like, got to know me more, you know what I mean? It's yeah. not just the bangers and the singles, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You get get a chance to sort of tell your story a bit more on a project, yeah. hey? Exactly, yeah, yeah. Mm. Let, let us into that story a bit, bro. Day Uno, what, let us in behind the concept there of what, what this project means to you and what you're you're trying to communicate for your debut. Mm. So then, you know, like, I see it as, like, a new chapter, you know what I mean? Like, I kind of wanted to, um, as I said, yeah, just, like, get people to really know who I am sort of thing. And I see it as, like, a like a way of defining myself as an artist, you know? I'm not the same same person just, you know, in front of cars in the street with, like, the boys just rapping, you know what I mean? It's more than that, not like everyone else, you know what I mean? I'm trying to be an artist, you know what I mean, before anything. I'm trying to, like, really go like big and global, you know what I mean? You can hear it in the songs, you know what I mean? Like I'm trying to be a winner, you know what I mean? So you know, that's what I'm trying to like define myself as, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. but, yeah, yeah. What, is, what are those, some of those elements, I guess? Uh, who is day, you know? Who is day one? What's, uh, what's it, what do you like away from the cameras and away from the booth, bro? What, what, what gets, gets your passion and fire burning, G? Bro, I'm a, I'm a hardworking, loyal, I'm humble, like, you know, like I'm real... Like, I want, I want others to win. So if I'm not yeah. making myself win, I'm making sure others around me are, you know what I mean? That's, that's, that's the type of person I am. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. And let us a little bit into your, your approach to the music, bro, because obviously, yeah, you sit in a really interesting melodic trap lane that's, that's really dominating sounds right now. What are some of your influences and how to, what's your process to getting influenced to, to then get in the booth and write? Um, so in terms of influences, bro, it'd be like speaking speaker knockers. Uh, he was a big influence because he kind of like started that whole melodic stuff. Yeah. Um, a boogie was definitely one. Uh, P and B rock and uh, Fetty Wap and all that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. That's so listen to growing up. And in terms of going in the booth, bro, honestly, I don't know, bro. I just, I just, I just walk in and I just do it. So mm -hmm. like, I just, I hear the beat and then automatically in my head it just clicks like a certain melody or what to talk about. Mm. It's, I don't know, it's weird. And you started doing this at a real young age as well, yeah, bro? Yeah, like I started writing at like nine years old. And mm -hmm. then uh, I started recording probably like 14, mm -hmm. I think. I started recording myself, but I was trash. <laughs> <laughs> I was really trash. But no, I think it was about like 2017, 2018, I took it serious. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. cool. And what a, you've copped so much attention, you know what I mean? A lot of, a lot of hype, and a lot of streams at such a young age, bro. How How is that been how has it been to, to cope with that like that's not something that everyone's prepared for necessarily yeah um to be honest like it's it's a it's a big difference like <laughs> yeah it's a, real, it's a real big shock you know what i mean it's not like yeah i don't know you can't do certain things because of it but like i don't know it's a it's a real i don't know i, can't, I, feel, I feel like i kind of built myself for it you know what i mean like mm -hmm. I was kinda, i'm kind of ready for it because if yeah. you're not then it's like what are you doing <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, it's a big difference. It's crazy, bro. Like, it's... what are some of the maybe lessons you've learned through it? Man, like a lot you can do it could have consequences, I guess. Yeah. Um. Also, um, bro, like I don't know. It's crazy. Like I feel like if even with this, even with like the whole whole thing, everything happening, it's like, bro, like really, if you've really put your mind to it, you can do it. That's what mm. I've really realized. You know what I mean? You, there's anything you can do, bro. Someone else has mm. done it. There's no reason why you can't do it. That's how I yeah. see it. Yeah, that's cool. I think we realize it a lot. Yeah. Mm. 
and you're fortunate to have a lot of, you know, heavy hitters and a lot of good people in your corner. You know what I mean? Um, Ziggy, you've got obviously linked up a couple of tracks with Hooligan Hefts. Let us know about what's the relationship like with some of those elders in your crew and what's some of the knowledge you've taken on and, and how's that feel to have that support and that backing? Mm. Um, well, yeah, with Ziggy, bro, like, bro, Ziggy's like, bro, that guy's, that guy's crazy, bro. He always vibes for me, man. He's really, he really changed my life in terms of this um, music sort of stuff. You know what mm. I mean? Like, he really gave me a chance when, um, I first met him. So, yeah, no, nah, he's really good, bro. Like, he's always uh, Manny as well. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, like, they, they have a really good team, bro. It's a really strong team. It's good to have people who actually believe in me, especially, like, they're older than me, but they yeah. they believe in young people. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? They always give young people a chance, and they always know that the young people are the ones doing their thing. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, shout out to them. But in terms of Hefs, mm -hmm. right, Hefs, I, I learned, like, bro, this guy, I swear to God, he's the most humble artist I've ever met. Mm -hmm. he's one of the biggest in Australia and he's the most humble like he he, he doesn't matter if you're bro Joe Blow from the street or whatever but mm -hmm. he, he's gonna he's gonna treat you if you're, if you're real to him he's real to you you know what I mean mm -hmm. no ego on him you know what I mean it's crazy mm -hmm. so yeah, I learned, I learned, yeah. that's so. cool bro and yeah that, that love is obvious in real life for you guys to drop back to back collabs you know what I mean like two, yeah. two in a sec like that's that's not something seen a lot that sort of love um, and, and that connection so what's the what's the chemistry like when you two work together um, bro, I see it's deeper than music, you know. What I mean? But now, uh, when we work together, bro, it's, I think it's easy, bro. Like, we bounce off each other pretty nice. Mm. So, I don't know, it's pretty easy. We kind of relate to some stuff, yeah. So. Facts, facts, and um, yeah, as I said, you got a lot, a lot of going on right now. And congratulations for the success at such a young age, bro. And uh, one thing you do rep continually is the BNE, you know what I mean? You've got it's in the handle, you're always repping Brisbane. What's it, what's the buzz like in Brisbane right now? What's it like to be repping your hometown? And uh, and what makes you king of the city, bro? Like, let, it know. <laughs> let us see what, what makes day, you know, king of the BNE, bro. The, &E. the thing is, with that, with that song, um, uh, this it's not me initially saying king my city you know I'm, I'm not the type of person to just say like bro i'm the king of my city you know what i mean he really listen i say i'm feeling like the king of my city yeah so yeah, like yeah. I, I can't that's really up to the people to decide bro you know what mm -hmm. i mean i'm, I'm not uh, like bro, you decide like you guys can decide yeah. but the reason I, why i say i feel like the king of my city bro because bro ever since i took it serious five years ago when no one was doing it mm -hmm. i always read brisbane you know what i mean I, I go to sydney and i'm walking around like yeah, Brisbane. You know what I mean? Like I'm everywhere I go, it's Brisbane. And that, that was my whole goal. You know what I mean? Try to like put Brisbane on the map. Mm. And no one was really forcing that crazily, you know what I mean? But you also, you got also got a lot of people doing it now. Like, you know mm. what I mean? But um, yeah, even the A Boogie song, I mentioned Brisbane, you know what I mean? So yeah. I was like, bro, suddenly right, I feel like a king, bro. I feel like I feel like you know, I feel like I'm trying to do the most. And that, mm. that, I hear you. I yeah. hear you. But I'm not initially saying I'm the king. Nah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. It's I like that. I like you put you put your city on your back. You put your car on your back. What's what's that look like into the future? You said for five years it's been a pretty crazy ride to get to this point. What what does day one's legacy or, or future look like for you? Maybe if you're looking back in five years' time. Well, I'm gonna try to be Drake. <laughs> yeah, but Jada, I'm trying to like I'm trying to really take over my team, bro. Like I'm trying to go global. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. like there's no. I'm trying to like even in Brisbane, I want people to see what I do in the next couple of years and then be like, fuck, bro, how, do, how do I do that? Mm -hmm. How do I follow that? And then kind of study it. That's, 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 I want to leave a big legacy behind. You know? Yeah, that's cool. It's been, that's not cool. even just for Brisbane, for Australia. Mm. Um, but yeah. And what, and what would that advice be to any other young who are looking up now, maybe motivated or inspired by day one? What's something mm. you can pass on to them? Bro, as I said, like, bro, if you really have a dream, it doesn't have to be rapping, you know what I mean? It could be, like, being a doctor or whatever, bro. Like, you, bro, you, if you really stick to it, put your mind to it and not believe what everyone else says or what anyone really has to say, and you really believe it in your mind, like, you got to 100% believe it, bro, you can do it, bro, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. there's no stopping you from achieving something, bro. Like, even, you, like, I see this, I look at Drake, bro, and I'm like, bro, if Jake can do that, he's a normal person like me and you, mm -hmm. you know? So it's like, bro, he can do it. We can all do it. You know what I mean? So that's how that's how I see it. So yeah, that's, that's that. my advice for young people and just stay out, stay out of trouble. Yeah, tight, <laughs> tight. Now that's cool, G. That's cool. Any youngins listening, absolutely take that advice and heed that and just work hard. All yeah. right, bro. We're gonna slide into some rapid fire questions now. I'm gonna fire some stuff at you and just have a bit of fun. Hit me with the first answer that pops in your head, okay? Uh, all right, let's go. Rapid fire questions now with day one. Uh, what? No, actually, who was your first celebrity crush ever? 
bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Molly Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Facts. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I let you know. Me and Miley are already in love, bro. So <laughs> it's all G. It's all G. <laughs> uh, if the world is ending tomorrow, what's the last meal you having tonight? Um, tacos. Mm, nice, nice, good call. Uh, dream collaboration. Any artist ever, dead or alive? Great. Yep. Cool. Manifest that. Manifest that. It's gonna happen. <laughs> um, if you weren't doing music, what would you be doing right now, bro? God knows. <laughs> yep. Well, that's that's a shout out to all the youngins, bro. Follow your passion. Tight. Um, give me a, a movie recommendation, bro. What's a movie I need to check out? Oh. Uh. I don't really watch movies, eh? But, oh, I bet. but Interstellar. Yeah, but okay, I've seen that one. I vibe with that. Bro. Anyone who hasn't seen Interstellar watching this, go watch that movie. That's, that, a, that's, that's a my fuck that one. Uh, what is on your cell phone background, bro? On your phone background? Um, Energy cover. Nah, uh, it's all right. <laughs> cool, cool. I, I like it. I like it when artists have their own artwork. It expose me, bro. <laughs> it's good, bro. It's also, it, it just gets you in the zone. It gets you in the zone. I like it. Um, where's your favorite place to spend money? Clothing stores, bro. Yeah. Um, any in particular? Burberry. Yeah. <laughs> I right. flex, flex. Uh, what's what's the best gift you ever been given? Um, gift. I don't really know. Eh? Huh? People got to be given day one better gifts, y'all. They're not memorable. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> They're all good, bro. I don't want to sit. sit there, like, um, yeah. right, so we can move. We can move oh, on. No, no, no. The, best gift, the best gift mm-hmm. was um, my brother. He gave me my first of a mic. Yeah, tight. That's yeah. memorable. That's big. Um, when this lockdown's over, if you can travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? Uh, I want to go to America. Mm-hmm. Or like uh, UK. Yeah. That's in terms of like music wise, but traveling wise, if I yeah. just travel for holiday, mm. Japan. nice, yeah. nice. All right, bro. And this last question I'm going to hit you with now controversial. We ask it every time on AU Dollars pineapple on pizza, yes or no? Yes, yeah, you're rocking with a pineapple, so, always since right. day one. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> day one's been with the pineapple, one since day one. Pizza, it has pineapple on it. You gotta do it, bro. There we go. I love it. Bro, congratulations on the job. It's been really dope to be able to uh, chat and connect with you today, man. I look forward to linking up when we can into the future and all the best for the, for, for the continuing rollout and all your success, bro. No, I appreciate it, bro. Thanks for having me, bro. Wish Much you. love, G. Bless up. I know you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Day uno. And you want to know who I am, but baby, who knows? And I'm down for the gang all day, so baby, you know. When it's time to ride outside, yeah, you know.